So how are we going to start with this composting? Everyone has to save their vegetable, table scraps, coffee grounds, uh, horse manure, what? Eggshells. Egg Definitely. Uh, we'll get horse manure, or pig manure, or goat manure, or human manure, or uh, cow manure. But we got to make sure it doesn't have all kinds of growth hormones and all that kind of crap in it. We want it to be good compost. And then, so then we're going to layer what at the bottom here? We'll layer it. Nitrogen, it's roughly equal parts nitrogen and carbon. And what nitrogen is, is the manure, coffee grounds, etc., green stuff, green grass clippings, etc. What the carbon is, is dry stuff like straw, leaves, and junk like that. So what's the ratio? Roughly 50-50. Okay. 50 50 is close enough. If it stinks, that has too much nitrogen. And uh, then you add, need to add some carbon. And so and we're having stink. three here? Three bins. One bin will be to store materials, like if we score some, some uh, bales of straw or something. Okay, we're sweet. Uh, we can store it in the middle bin. One bin will be the active bin that we're adding to at the moment. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. other bin will be the aging bin that is sitting and ripening and getting ready for use in the garden. Okay, so a full cycle, how long do you think that takes? Depends on how well the compost is maintained. It could take several weeks up to longer. Like a year? It's not maintained well. Like a good six months? Good, yeah, good six months. All right, sweet. Six months, uh, depending on how well it's maintained. Thank you, Mr. Everything Mesquite. Everything will break down eventually. Fabulous.